The Massacre River creates an international border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic on the northern part of our island. This infamous name comes from colonial times. In 1728, Spanish settlers killed, they massacred 30 French buccaneers at this location. That name became popular once more in 1937 when that river became red with blood once more. But this time, it was the slaughter of Haitians. On the orders of Dominican dictator, Rafael Rafael Trujillo, the Dominican army killed between 12 to 30,000 Haitians in less than a week. This was an attempt to keep unwanted Haitians out of the Dominican Republic. Countless mutilated bodies were thrown into the river, which turned it red and solidified the name, the Massacre River. Today, there's conflict once more at the Massacre River. Haitians recently began constructing a canal in Haiti that will use the water from the river in order to help them irrigate their crops. Dominicans say that diverting water from the river is illegal. They say it's a violation of a 1929 treaty signed by both nations. Article 10 of this treaty establishes the right of both nations to fairly and equitably use these waters. But Dominicans say that this canal is a threat to the environment and to Dominican farmers. Haitians say this canal is essential to their survival. They need it to irrigate their crops. They say that Dominicans already have several canals that are connected to the river and since construction is happening in Haiti, they should have the right to build. Haitians also say that Dominicans are reacting out of fear. They may lose a vital part of Dominican agriculture. Haitian farmers, these farmers now will have the opportunity to farm their own land with this canal. It's important to note that this canal is not being built by the Haitian government. It's part of a larger movement of Haitian civilians taking action and no longer waiting for the Haitian government to fix their problems. As a pressure tactic, Dominican President Luis Abinader suspended issuing visas to Haitians. He also shut down the border near the river, which is a vital crossing point for Haitian and Dominican trade. He also threatened to shut down all borders to land, air, and sea traffic if the conflict isn't resolved by Thursday. The Dominican government sent a delegation to oversee the construction of this canal. Haitians say this is intimidation, but Dominicans say this is to offer help detaining any Haitian who doesn't have permission to be working there. This is a lose-lose situation for both nations, both economies. Haiti is the DR's third largest trading partner with over $1 billion worth of exports sent to Haiti just last year. And Haitians depend on these products. Hopefully there's a peaceful resolution very soon.